So, first of all, the place. Schignano is my grandma's village in Lombardia, north of Italy, and it's near Lake Como. I was born in Milan, but I grew up there, and it's a very old place. Uh, we have wonderful mountains, uh, with, uh, great hills, uh, nature, and um, and we have George Clooney, actually, <laughs> because Vignano is very close to Laglio, and uh, you know, weather permitting, we would put him out on the balconies with the flowers to attract tourists. <laughs> and everyone's very, I mean, I'm proud, I drive past his house like twice a, a weekend, and it's so nice. But anyway, uh, the Canne Valle. The Canne Valle uh, in Schignano is, um, uh, so it, it happens like every February or March, it depends. It's before the Catholic Lent. And, uh, in Schignano, it's like a parade of uh, characters, and the people would uh, watch uh, from the borders of the streets as the parade uh, would move. And uh, we would have like two categories of uh, characters. We have the bello, which is the good looking, and uh, he would represent the rich people in the village. <laughs> and uh, no, because the costumes actually are, were very expensive, so mm -hmm. they would uh, have like a wonderful walnut uh, wood uh, masks uh, in a light color wonderful hats uh, and uh, mock jewelry on their costumes. And uh, actually, as you can see, like, uh, the hat is the, almost the most important part of the costume. It's full of mock flowers um, and they have a silk ribbons uh, on the back. Uh, and uh, again, you can see all the jewelry in, uh, in the front. And um, on the other side, uh, the other character is uh, the Bruto, <laughs> the Bruto. <laughs> and he would represent poor people and poor people poor families would uh, participate, would uh, represent the, the group. And uh, they would represent in particular the um, workers uh, that had to leave the, the village for working abroad. And uh, coming, they would come back home only in winter for uh, the Carnival, basically. And they are dressed with the rugs uh, and uh, smelly furs. And actually, this guy is my six years old cousin, and my family is a family of group. <laughs> and they wear like a black masks, uh, like very scared with a nasty smile. And um, there is only one special character, it's the Chocha. Actually, it's uh, uh, the poor wife of a rich bello. And uh, it's always performed by a man, uh, covered with coal. And this guy is the best Chocha ever, and uh, he's my uncle Domenico. And the, the role is like complaining about her miserable condition. He's her miserable condition. The Carnival is full of uh, sounds, uh, and uh, we have the band playing music, but the most important part is uh, the bells of the masks. So the bell has uh, the rich bronze, out of bronze, and uh, they are very expensive and heavy. And uh, uh, the, on the contrary, the brute has the poor chocke, uh, which are out of iron or aluminum. And they have a dumb sound compared to the crystal clear, clear one of the bronze. And uh, they are uh, wear like with ropes uh, around your waist. And uh, so this is what happens at the Carnival. Uh, actually, that's uh, uh, the, that, uh, the father of the other cousins, or another group of the family. <laughs> and the, the group would play tricks uh, to the bell. And this is part of the unwritten play of the, this theater that happens every year. And uh, um, uh, so, Bella and Brut had no respect for anyone. They would touch you on the face, stop the cars, and usually they would get you dirty with only God knows what, plus wine. And uh, this is Lorenzo, another friend of mine, and that's always another cousin. And really, the first time we <laughs> were all cousins, like in Iceland. <laughs> this is the antique dealer of the village, and he would show up with the most amazing objects. And, Actually, the group uh, would uh, show up with uh, all the working tools, like the shovels, rugs, uh, um, rakes, uh, I wanted to say rakes, sorry. <laughs> and here you see the gerla, which is a backpack uh, out of uh, crossed uh, sticks. And uh, the uh, most important of the bello is that uh, it would go around uh, very gently, walking slowly, and showing off uh, his wealth. And uh, uh, actually, my grandma, she is uh, the, one of the official uh, tailors of the Carnevale, and she would uh, prepare and fix the costumes and uh, put the jewelry in the right place. And uh, the waistcoat is full of dry leaves, so she would occasionally uh, collect also the leaves. And uh, anyway, uh, you see the stick, actually, it's, that's very important. Uh, 
uh, as well because it, it's uh, used to keep uh, the brute away from the things that are playing. The main activity of the brute is the run. They would keep running, running, uh, also to make the choke sound louder and, uh, and they push people and try to show off uh, as well their stuff, even if it is like very poor and uh, disgusting. So the second activity <laughs> is the rest. And it's amazing. I mean, people would like that, you know, lie everywhere, and they really look dead. And uh, usually they're just drunk because you would drink for days to better perform at the at the carnival. Uh, but they, they would be like uh, in the middle of the streets on cars, and uh, people that don't know that's that that's absolutely fine. They would get closer, and then as they, they get the closer, the wood would jump up as a pretty push them, and run away. So this is all the part of the, this ritual, a written play that happens. And um, these are all photos that I took uh, last time I saw the Carnival. And the best part of the Carnival is that this is something that involves kids, uh, boys and girls of any age, and the families are very proud. I mean, everybody's really waiting for the Carnival. And uh, so this is what I really like of that, really the you know, renewal of the tradition. But today I want to end the presentation with another friend of mine. She's not my cousin, but <laughs> she's uh, Chiara, or 10 years older. And she's the best proof uh, that uh, you know, the good tradition have uh, to renew and include everyone. So that's it. There is a website, and if you want to learn more about the Carnevale, just ask me. <laughs>